Good day, everyone, and God bless you. I'd like to talk about something that has been weighing on my heart for some time. It is about showing appreciation. And that's something that doesn't seem to get talked about very much, at least not that I've noticed. Let me share with you this account of Mary, Martha, and Jesus. It takes place in Luke chapter 10, verses 38 to 42. As Jesus and his disciples were on their way, he came to a village where a woman named Martha opened her home to him. She had a sister called Mary, who sat at the Lord's feet, listening to what he said. But Martha was distracted by all the preparations that had to be made. She came to him and asked, Lord, don't you care that my sister has left me to do the work by myself? Tell her to help me. Martha, Martha, the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed, or indeed only one. Mary has chosen what is better, and it will not be taken away from her. Now, I'm not here to put Mary down. Mary made a decision to sit and listen and worship Jesus over temporal things, like food preparation. And Jesus affirms Mary's choice. And he points out that Martha was stressed over the meal preparation. Martha may have done well to unplug from the situation for a bit, and sit with Mary at Jesus' feet for a while and listen to him. She probably could have gone back to her cooking less stressed and more at peace. Now that being said, I like to think that Jesus and his disciples thanked Martha for a delicious meal that evening. And while it's great to, and even necessary to spend time sitting with Jesus and listening to what he has to say, someone's got to cook dinner. Martha decided it was up to her. She stepped up and served. Praise God for Martha. Praise God for all the Marthas in all the churches out there. They are getting things done to help the church run. Have you ever had someone prepare you a really great meal after you put in a hard day at work? I certainly have, and I was grateful for it. And here's the kicker. I made sure to show my appreciation to them, just like Paul did in 1 Corinthians 16, verses 17 and 18. It reads, I am glad that Stephanus, Fortunatus, and Achaeus have arrived because they have supplied what was lacking from you. For they refreshed my spirit and yours as well. Show your appreciation, therefore, to such men. Now for those who have ears to hear, listen up. If you don't have a couple of Marthas, you have no church. And I implore you to show appreciation to the Marthas in your church and in your life. People need to feel valued. They need to feel appreciated. And when they are not appreciated, they're depressed, they're angry, they're bitter, and then finally, they're gone. Now you might say, People who serve should do so without expectation of reward or even an expectation of thanks. To which I reply, you're right. Remind them of that the next time you see them. And next time you can prepare dinner. It appears you'll be eating crow. Take care, everyone, and God bless you.